Question number 12. Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he have confidence in the Minister of Building and Housing in light of the Commissioner for Children's criticism that the government's bill on rental standards will, quote, do little for children living in cold, damp, mouldy housing? Mr. Speaker. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Does he accept that the loophole in the government's bill will allow houses to be insulated to a standard from 1978 and will mean hundreds of children will be hospitalised unnecessarily? Speaker, no, right, Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, I don't accept that. What I do accept is this is the government that has insulated 320,000 homes, uh, many of them uh, in the last few years, and that with our upcoming residential tenancy changes, a further 180,000 homes will be insulated. And, Mr Speaker, with the changes we're making uh, to the healthy homes, uh, they will start uh, by... 1 July 2019 compared to the recommendations by Mr Little when they will begin in 2023. Supplementary. That's right. Supplementary, Supplementary. question, Jacinda Ardern. Does he accept then Philippa Howden Chapman's findings that all rentals should be insulated to the 2008 standard, the standard used in Andrew Little's Healthy Homes Bill? particularly given Ms Howden Chapman was the winner of the Prime Minister's Science Prize for her work on healthy homes. The well, right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think the moves that the government are making are ones in the right direction. Yeah. This is a government that will have effectively seen the oversight of 500,000 homes being insulated compared to the woeful record of the pre previous Labour government, which was 50,000. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Does he agree with Nick Smith's response to Otago University's findings that properly insulated homes would reduce child hospitalisations by thousands of children a year, that he wouldn't adopt that policy because it would cost more than it would save? If so, how many children need to be hospitalised for his cost-benefit analysis? Mr Speaker, the government takes the issue very seriously, which is why we've insulated 500,000 homes or will see them insulated in the next few years. But, Mr Speaker, we do not think that the flimsy bill proposed by Andrew Little will work. What it will do is it will, quote-unquote, attempt to regulate indoor temperatures. Well, that'll be people walking around other people's lounges and bedrooms with a thermometer measuring the temperature, and while they're at it, they may as well go to the Order. bathroom for the... Order. 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 So Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary. If the government is taking this issue seriously, why will he not include any requirement in his government's bill for a heating source when everybody knows that an insulated house still needs to be heated if you want to stop children from getting sick? The right honourable prime minister. Speaker, government has taken a number of steps in that area, but when it comes to private sector rentals, it has when it comes to housing New Zealand and others. When it comes to private sector rentals, the question has to be asked about the, the trade-offs between the cost of those rentals. And if those rentals go up even more, it'll be even harder for those people to use any rental uh, service that, or, or device that they have. Tree. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. If it is down to trade-offs, what has changed since 2011 when the Prime Minister stated, I am prepared to commit government resources to try and lift children out of poverty, and now, when he can't even put in place decent housing standards or vote for Andrew Little's Healthy Homes Guarantee Bill, when the majority of children in poverty are living in private rentals that are often substandard. Right, Honourable well, Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, unfortunately, the member might want to grandstand on the issue, but when the last Labor government was in, they did absolutely nothing. nothing. This government has insulated 320,000 homes and has a programme for a further 180,000. That concludes questions for oral answer. I call